Nearly 40% of the country still strongly supportive of this president. Despite all of these swirling controversies, as a conservative, how do you think these folks are viewing all of this news? Well, I think the, the president and his surrogates have done a good job of constantly throwing out fake news, fake news, anytime there's legitimate criticism, so it muddies the water and people don't really know what to do. President Trump is playing the victim constantly. It's, you know, the media is out to get me, um, I've done nothing wrong, it's, and he projects onto other people what he's actually doing. So right now what you're looking at is a, 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 really a crisis of credibility. Do you believe the 30-year impeccably impeccable record of James Comey, who testified under oath or do you believe the president of the United States who we have caught more than one time um, not being truthful about things from the size of the crowds at his rallies to what his charitable work foundation has done so I think in, when that it's presented in that respect side by side uh, I, I think you're gonna find that more people will will probably go with the with the FBI director who has proof has a record and has done so under oath Right. What conservatives choose to do and what Republicans choose to do, you see they're circling the mm -hmm. wagons, but it becomes a little bit more difficult when the president <laughs> continues to tweet and say things that he said that he and behave the way he's behaved. Um, it, it makes it a little bit more problematic. Right now, the base holding strong Tara and uh, Kate, thank you very much for your analysis on, on a Saturday morning. We appreciate it.